It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Thursday, January 19th, 2012. I am James Burns. We are joined now by Bob Chapman, his website, theinternationalforecaster.com. Bob, how are you doing today? I think okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling on the fence too, a little 50-50. <laughs> Bob, there's so many things going on across the world right now. Where would you like to start off first? Nowhere. Nowhere, yeah. Me too. <laughs> well, we can start off with Rick Perry. Yeah, he dropped out of the race, and he's endorsing Newt Gingrich. But uh, did you hear about uh, his wife, Marianne, well, his ex-wife? Apparently she has some uh, beans that will be spilling about him coming up tonight on ABC Nightline. So that's going to be interesting. This is uh, Rick Perry's ex-wife? No, no, no. It's Newt Gingrich's ex-wife, Marianne. Uh, she uh, has an interview. She's oh, claiming. Oh, he was a monster to her. Yeah, I mean, he was a monster to all his wives. But, I mean, well, this, this guy is, uh, he hates women. Yeah. He's probably, a, well, we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot we were on the air. <laughs> Dreadful person. Don't get any worse. Sociopathic psychopath. You know, it kind of reminds me of Larry Summers. I mean, I think Summers is worse. Anybody think he becomes president of Harvard and they throw him out, he, he's got to be maladjusted, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's true. Well, especially when he taught there and everybody knew him. I mean, he also, a... uh, like uh, Gingrich, ex- ex- expressed his disdain for women. So, yeah, I mean, these, these guys are basically... in a pod. Oh, I, you took the words right out of my mouth? in a pod. I know. I was about to say the same exact thing, Bob. I mean, these snakes basically run in the same pack, and, yeah, they... They don't care about women. They don't see them as anything except for, you know, toys. I mean, that's what Newt Gingers does. You know, his first wife, Jackie, you know, he had her around for a couple of years, and she got cancer, and he's like, oh, see you, bye. And then his second wife, uh, Marianne, she got multiple sclerosis, and then once again, oh, bye, I'm going to go hang out with uh, the, this girl I've been uh, sleeping with for a couple of years now, Callista, and now she's his wife. So I kind of feel sorry for her, Bob, whenever she starts having some sort of health issues. Uh, he's probably bought her a pre-burial contract. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to understand what you're dealing with. I know. It's just, I, I guess it's just the lure of the power and the money that appeals to women like Callista and others that, for some reason, find themselves with people like Newt Gingrich. Well, that's true. And I think... Uh, Opposites are attracted to powerful women and powerful men. I mean, I've known people whose desire it was to marry a very intelligent, successful woman. So it, it works both both ways. You're absolutely right about that, Bob. I mean, it does work both ways. And not all intelligent, powerful people are, you know, the, the spawn of a demon, but, you know, a lot of them are, unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Well, I get to meet a demon that I knew. Maybe I did meet demons and didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, so Rick Perry's out now. That's no surprise. I'm surprised that he didn't get out sooner. <laughs> so it's now down to four. Ron Paul versus Team Tyranny. You know, Romney, Gingrich, and Santorum. Uh, how good do you think Ron Paul's chances are this weekend going into South Carolina, Bob? Mm. Probably come in third. Probably come in three out of four. The whole thing is rigged. You know, why bother? I mean, you've even got videotapes in New Hampshire of people passing out dead people's names. I mean, what more conclusive proof do you need? Whole districts didn't even get counted in Iowa. Then, miraculously, they found that Santorum won in Iowa. What do they think, was stupid? And no mention of Ron Paul, how well he did. And there's plenty of uh, rumors going around, Scuttlebutt, within the Ron Paul camp that we actually got an impressive number of delegates 
coming our way in the summer from Iowa. So they didn't mention that in the mainstream media. Of course, you know, that's no surprise there. The only time they ever mention about anything about Ron Paul is to try and belittle and demonize him. Well, they do that to good people in all countries, and that's uh, something you got to fight through. I'm seeing it now in France, and, uh, boy, they are really ro- roasting this uh, Sarkozy. And uh, uh, he'll be uh, eligible for dog catcher when they get through with him. But the problem with the French is um, they'll go with whomever they think will win. And they've done it again and again, so I think they'll probably elect the socialist, Holland. Yeah, it's a common trend, though, Bob. It's not just in France. It's also something they do a lot here in the States. It's always, hey, I got to support the winner. I like Ron Paul, but he's not going to win, so I got to support this guy or this guy because they're the winner. Well, it's okay. And when we're heading the other direction, these guys will be on the way to their internment camps. Oh, they're going to just love it. You don't resist, you die. And everybody out there, you remember that. You don't surrender. Well, once again, we had internet trouble. This is becoming a tradition that I'd like to see go away. Last week, it was only down for, what, two or three minutes, and we were able to continue with the Bob Chapman interview from last week. This time, my internet's been down for at least... 20, 25 minutes, and I have high-speed internet cable, and it should be running fine, but apparently it's not, so who knows what's causing it. But Bob made a very good point. We don't surrender, we don't give in, and we keep on fighting, and that's probably the best way to wrap up this abbreviated interview with Bob Chapman. I apologize to all of you in advance, especially those of you that sent me an email question for Bob Chapman, and you can always do so at our website, freedomfiles.us. And the international forecaster is about business, finance, economic, social, and political issues all across the world, and it goes out twice a week, and the hard copy goes out twice a month. If you have any questions, you can always email Bob Bob at intforecaster.com. That's Bob at intforecaster.com. B O B at intforecaster.com. The website's theinternationalforecaster.com or intforecaster.com. That's intforecaster.com. And if you'd like to subscribe to the International Forecaster, here's the toll free number 877 479 8178. Once again, that number is 877 877- 479-8178 and if you want to get a subscription to the International Forecaster that's the place to go and hopefully we'll get our internet issues straightened out and we'll talk to Bob Chapman next Thursday on another edition of the Freedom Files podcast <laughs>